It's the NASCAR Heat for 10 race COVID season. Welcome on in. I'm Alan Bailey. It is NASCAR Heat 4. We are racing a 10 race fantasy season. Here's how we've done so far. Let me explain to you. Won the Daytona 500 in our first race. Came home 12th uh, as the race finished under caution at Canadian Tire Road Course Park. Uh, came home a hard fought fourth place finish at the Auto Club Speedway. Finished 17th after a bad pit strategy at the Charlotte Roval. Went to Michigan, backed up with a fourth place finish, just like Auto Club. Then we won out at Road America. That ended the regular season. Now the playoffs have begun. Finished third at the first playoff race out at Atlanta. Now we will head to Martinsville for 125 laps out at the short track. Second race of the playoffs. Then... Watkins Glen, and everything comes to a head. The championship race at the Talladega Super Speedway. What could go wrong? I don't know. Probably a lot. Probably not a whole lot going to go right. We're driving this number 16 Fantasy uh, Gatorade Toyota. It's our car. We designed it with the limitations of the NASCAR Heat 4 video game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head out to Martinsville for the second race of the playoffs. Let's go. We are fast out here at Martinsville. Ran a sub 20 second lap out here at Martinsville. It was like a 19.94 or something like that. It was crazy fast. Nobody else ran sub 20. So we are on the pole beating out Kevin Harvick. Gonna try to get a win here. A win would secure our position for Talladega. We're going green. Be ready. 125 laps. I know it sounds daunting, but it goes really fast out here. Trust me. See, a 19.954 is what we ran in, in qualifying out there. And in practice, I did a dive bomb lap where I just bounced it off the wall. And it was not pretty, let me put it that way. And um, sure enough, I didn't think... I didn't want to do that in qualifying. I didn't think it, it was cool, and I didn't trust myself, so I just ran a quick lap, and we ran 19, man. I, I didn't think the car had it in it, but it did. Um, one of those I'm pleasantly surprised moments. And it's funny, man. I just literally just ran a race out here at Martinsville for um, our NASCAR Heat 4 career mode. Uh, that video going to be coming out later this week. So I, I, I did, I think it was like 80, 90 laps in in a car out of Martinsville. And now I'm jumping back into it. And this one's got a little bit more power than the one that I was in. And you can tell, you can feel the difference. And in that video series, coincidentally, Clint Boyer had some had a little giddy up in that race and sure enough here he is again all over my back bumper at Martinsville I didn't think Clint was that good at Martinsville no offense to Clint but I think Martinsville I think lately Martin Truex Jr. Um, Bubba Wallace had a really good run uh, when we were there a week ago not even a week ago um, you know I Harvick Kesel mm, Keselowski meh, maybe a little but uh, I don't think he like Keselowski likes this track as much, but I think Martin Truex Jr. lately he spent a few years getting used to it, and once he once he got used to it, the last two three years he's come alive here at this track, man. I think Joey Logano, I think Chase Elliott, when I think Martinsville, I don't think Clint Boyer to his credit, and I might let him have it here Inside. if he can beat me in turn three here. Clear nope, right. but I'm gonna I overdrove it so he can have it. Go, Clint, go. Yeah, rubbing you a little bit, buddy. Still there. Sorry, right. Clint. You're clear there. Ooh, we are loose. Loose under throttle right there. Ooh, loose under braking. <laughs> I'm overdriving the car right now, man, trying to get away from Clint, so I gotta let him have it for now. Whoa. Loose under braking. I... That was not me. I hit the brakes and it just went straight for that inside wall. And that probably was us that brought out that caution because I don't see any other issues. 
Um. Yeah, we're not gonna pit. Even though I hate this outside starting position, man, we're gonna not do it. Coming to the green, driver. Be ready here. Green, green, green. We got 20 more left. Inside. Oh man, we are loosey, 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 goosey. Whoa, okay. Now we're gonna pit. Yes, continue to pile into Joey and everybody else and just add to our misery. I'm just gonna sit here, guys. I got nowhere to go. Joey's gotta figure it out. You guys gotta, there we go, there we go. Okay, go around, Get very good. Very good. Look, okay, go, go, go. Chris Busher, go. Oh, the 34. Ghost car. Whoa, ghost car. All right, look at us. Look at us doing race car driver things like professionals we are. Yes, I'm going to pit. Needed to pit, unfortunately. Just way too much damage. The car snapped loose, and I literally got run over there. So we're going to come from the back. Are you ready now? Try not to run over these guys too much and cause too much damage to this car. Still there? Even though the temptation to use the chrome bumper is so there. You're all clear on that 40 there. car, Jimmy McMurray. You run one Daytona 500 in that car. All of a sudden, you're in a NASCAR video game for the rest of the season full time. Still Go there. figure. It's been like almost two years since Jamie McMurray retired, and he's still in this game. Careful, still there. Car outside. Danny's back here too. He's feeling it. Stay low, stay low. Hold your line. Got one outside. Paul Menard in that 21 car, getting a little squirrely. Three wide, uh, no. Stay low, stay low. Careful, still there. Car high, careful. See, Buffalo Wallace hanging out here in 21st. He should be at least 10 spots higher. That's that's more his jam. There. Just inside the top ten, just outside there. the top ten. That's top that's where he is at Martinsville, his best track. And it's not so much that clear he high, high. can't contend for the win out here, it's that his equipment is holding him back. You're only as good as your equipment and Bubba does not have great equipment. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw a theory out there, throw an idea out there. To Rick Hendrick himself, I say this. I publicly call on you to sign Bubba Wallace to drive the 48 car in 2021. Jimmy Johnson is retiring. I know Brad Keselowski is on your dream wish list to drive that 48 car after Jimmy retires. But Bubba Wallace is a young, talented driver who I think deserves some really good equipment under him. And is Rick Hendrick's equipment what it was 20 years ago? I don't know. Um, but it is still good equipment. It is a step up from what he has been driving. So I would say maybe Bubba Wallace can get it done in the 48 car in some good equipment. Just saying. Bubba's been driving subpar equipment his entire career. Well, not his entire career, just in Xfinity and in Cup. Um, in the truck series, he drove for Kyle Busch Motorsports, got a couple wins out here at Martinsville, um, and I think he is capable of doing it again in the Cup Series. Um, I'd like to see Bubba get a shot, man. I'd like to see him in some winning equipment, not just a car that last won a race in 1984. You know? And I know Eric Amarola did it a couple seasons ago at Daytona. Um, but that was rain shortened and that was pit strategy. That wasn't, you know, horsepower and car that did that. No offense to everyone at that team. You know you didn't deserve that win. Um, I'd like to see Bubba get it done in some good equipment. And Richard Petty Motorsports is struggling to keep the doors open right now. 
Um, they're looking for sponsorship for the rest of the this year, 2020, and they don't have any real sponsors for 2021 signed as of yet. Only a handful of races, so. Um, I'd like to see Bubba Wallace, a talented race car driver who, as of late, has been thrown into the limelight and has really beaten the drum for not only the NASCAR community, but for social injustice, racial injustice in this country. I'd like to see him in some good equipment, man. I don't, that, that, is that really so much to ask? It is so much to ask that I keep it off the wall, though. Whoa, okay. We are loose. And I'm trying to hang on to it. It's oh, that explains a lot. You got room. You're clear. Burning up those those right tie those right side tires, that right rear is just obliterated. Oof. Got one down low. Under throttle she wants to come around and she starts to a lot. You got room, you're clear. Inside. Might have to settle for thirteenth here in this stage. Stay low. Alright, clear outside. Nope, there we go. No points that stage, but plenty of racing left. Yeah, Caution. I've been holding on to her for the last five, six laps, and she finally just went all the way around. So, uh, yes, we will pit. Yes, we need four tires. 16 seconds of repair time. That hurts. That really, really hurts. But only 32 cars on the lead lap, so that right, helps us out a little, I suppose. Almost ready now. Green flag, green flag. Car Look at Jimmy Johnson back here, man, in 29. Come on, let's go. I'm impatient now, man. Careful, still there. 35 laps on this fuel run. I don't think we're gonna make it that long. After about 20 laps, our tires are toast. Careful, still there. Hold that line, driver. You got room, you're clear. He who should not be named. I gotta hand it to Kyle Larson, though, man. Even though he made a horrible mistake and He's got some hate in his heart, uh, it appears so, at the wrong time in this country. He has gone through his sensitivity training. He is racing the dirt series, uh, dirt races all over the country. And he's still winning, man. He just doesn't have a cup ride, and I don't know if he's necessarily going to be coming back to NASCAR anytime soon, but he's at least doing all the right steps. And maybe he's self-imposing staying away from NASCAR. Maybe no NASCAR owner wants to touch him right now. Maybe it's a little bit of both. I don't know. All but right, um, right now he's he's at least staying racy, you know, keeping his craft up. Still and um, maybe we'll see him in a cup car and an Xfinity car All sometime right, in the near clear. future. He's just too talented to, to really see him fizzle out the way he has so far because of... Um, really a bad choice and and revealing some um really hate in his heart to use that word you have to have some hate in your heart so we'll see man time will tell with him car there on the outside you got room you're clear Danny's working me on the bottom here. He's got me. You got room. You're clear. Careful. Still there. You're all clear on top there. Stay low. 
Stay low, stay low. You got room, you're clear there. Inside. All right, clear low. Right, That'll anger Kyle. Got a car coming inside now. See, but we're starting to get loose under throttle again. Right, Every time clear. I get in that throttle off these turns, the back end, ugh. Back end wants to come around. I was up to 10th before that little lovely nose dive into the wall. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and pit. Because I have to. Because I don't, you know, I'm going to go ahead and fill it up just because why not? Jimmy Johnson went down a lap, but he just got the free pass. So Jimmy's Coming not having a Jimmy Johnson day at Martinsville. Car high, careful there. That might add to the case to Bubba Wallace to the 48 car. I mean, Bubba, at least in this race, is outperforming Jimmy Johnson, so Rick Hendrick, just saying, Hendrick Motorsports, stay low, stay low. sign Bubba Wallace to the 48 car. Heck, you could even put him in another car altogether if you're all worried about Still the there. legacy of the 48 car, although I know NASCAR is mandating that you keep the same number and paint scheme combination so that casual fans still think Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon are driving the field. Clear oh, around. and Dale Earnhardt Jr. too. Oh, whoops, did I say that out loud? <laughs> That's going to anger NASCAR. And Hendrick Motorsports right now is sweating bullets going, <gasps> Hey, no! Why do you think the 24 car has the same paint scheme as it did with Jeff Gordon? Relatively uh, true there. Why do you think that is? You think it's a coincidence? Why do you think Rick Hendrick, who's had a history of driving, of running the 5 car and the 25 car, is electing not to run those All numbers right, over running an 88 number for not Dale Earnhardt Jr. Careful. It's Still not there. because he thinks there's value in it. It's because yeah, NASCAR really, really wants him to run that same paint scheme and number so that casual fans think that Dale Earnhardt Jr., Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, and even Carl Edwards are still racing in the field even though they've all, all retired right, and moved on. All right, you're clear there. I didn't do that. That wasn't me, I think. I'll pit. I'll get two. And uh, we'll go from there. Nice. Couple of couple of guys taking a chance up here. These guys in front of me. This should be fun. That janky start was intentional so that I could do this. Stay on the bottom. You got room. You're clear. You got room. You're clear. To the lead. But look it's who's right on my back clear. bumper. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Uh. <laughs> Every one of these cars is going to cause me damage right now. Really? I'm not going to pit and make it stop. Because we're pitting in a couple of laps once the stage ends anyway. At least I'm planning on it. Almost ready. 
try to hold on here in four laps for a decent finish. Maybe even a stage win? If I can get around Boyer. Boyer's got a car, man. Stay low, stay low. All this damage coming from Knucklehead AI ramming right, into me. Clear. Hey, a stopped race car. Let me do a nosedive into him. I did get up on the on the bank on the uh, on the corner. Yeah, I know. I'm flashing. I don't think I'm gonna get Boyer here. He's bad fast, man. And this damage, it's essentially like putting a parasail on this car on the snows, just just preventing me from going anywhere. Driving it in too deep there. Fine. I, I drove it down there real deep, and that's fine, man. I inevitably. What are you going to do? And yeah, I know not everybody's going to pit here, but because of my damage, I'm definitely pitting. Filling it up. This will cut the stage in half, essentially, this final stage uh, with the fuel. So, yes, I'll fill it up because I need the gas. Four tires. Repair that 18 seconds worth of damage. Let's go. All right. All right. 35 cars on the lead lap, so... Coming to the green, driver. Go figure. Ready? Got one down low now. Sure, I got more than one. Jimmy just barely on the lead lap here. Careful. Still there. Kyle Busch not having a Kyle Busch day out here in Martinsville either. And I think part of that is pit strategy on his part, but I think part of that is just his AI not having a Kyle Busch kind of day. But then again, he's not a Martinsville guy anyway, so... A little column A, little column B. But look at Martin Shrix Jr. back here in 16th. That's not like him at all either, so... Usually he's in the top 10, so... He got ruined. You're clear there. I think cars staying out under the last caution definitely jumbled up this order because Stenhouse is up here in the top 15. Busher's up here in the top 15. These are cars that are not in the top 15. Careful, These are not ahead. top 15 cars. These are 20th to 25th place cars. Ty Dillon's in the top is 11th. Come on. That's just impossible. It is physically impossible for this to happen. He doesn't even know what an 11th place position looks like, so he probably barely knows how to spell 11th place. You know, because he's rich and he paid to get his way through school, or his grandpappy did, with that silver spoon. Oops, did I say that? Speaking of Richard Childress, I want to point something out. Um, in this game, the three car, the eight car, not ha they, they, they're not very great. Let me put it that way. Um, Hemrick is let go by the team at the end of the 2019 season. Goes down to the Xfinity Series, drives for Junior Motorsports part-time, uh, with some sponsorship that he brought along, I might add. And they promote Tyler Rennick uh, from their Xfinity program, coming off of an Xfinity championship, to the Cup Series. And this season, especially when we came back from our COVID break, Tyler Rennick, man, he is getting it done in the Cup Series. He's rattling off top ten finishes. He's contending for top fives. You, you got to look at what's happening at that organization and go, hey, what happened last season? What's happening this season? Because Austin Dillon is struggling to finish 20th. But Tyler Rennick, the rookie, is finishing top 10. So something something's amiss over at that organization. And uh, I'm just saying it might not be the equipment. I mean, I'm sure the equipment does need a little bit of an oomph over at RCR. Um, but... Tyler Rennick breathing some fresh air over to RCR. Very cool. Very cool. And we are loose on the straightaways. Car there on the inside. Load clear. Car there on the inside. All right, you're clear. Car we are literally loose on the straightaway under throttle. Towers call to caution. I'll take it. And with those cars pitting, I'm definitely going to pit. Yeah, I'll take the can. Yeah, go for it. 
All right. See, there's some fast cars back here. I saw Clint pitted too, so. It'll be interesting to see how quick Clint gets through the field versus me. Still there? If somebody, anybody wants to keep track of how many cars I've passed in this race, I'm Still a little there? curious. Clear, Maybe I'll go through at the end of this video and put it in the comments how many cars I've passed, because I've come through the field at least four times, five times, whatever it's been now. I you feel like room. I've passed You're 700 clear. cars today. It feels like it. And this car, as soon as we wear the tires down, I can't drive it. It literally becomes undrivable, evil, and it just spins out on the straightaway by itself under throttle. And I've feathered it and played with that throttle to, to help, you know, with that issue, and it's just not working. So once the tires go away, they go away. 40 laps to go. We'll be in our pit window in another 5-6 laps here, so um, if the AI and I hold out for another 5 laps, we'll be within the pit window. I have a feeling we'll see a caution with about 10 laps to go, or with about uh, 30 laps to go, rather, in about 10 laps, I should say. Everybody's going to have to pit at least once more. We should see green flag pit stops probably in the next 18 laps or so. Maybe less than that, actually, because some of these cars up front have stayed out and their their pit strategy their pit cycle is a little off compared to ours so um, that makes it a little bit more interesting and here we are sixth 37 to go so i think within the next seven laps here we're going to see green flag pit stops cars starting to peel off here who need to pit who didn't choose to pit under that last caution is that matt to ben a burrito? No, his name is Matt De Benedetto. I know that, but look at Matt in that 95 in the top three here at Martinsville. That's very cool. And my tires are starting to go. I can't get in the throttle like I was earlier in this race, earlier in this run. There I go. Gonna see everybody come down pit road. Let's go ahead and fix that damage. That's gonna put us all the way back in the field. Coming to the green. Almost ready now. I suspect another pit stop, another caution. I don't know if we're gonna necessarily make it 27 laps as it is, so. Um, Careful, still there. Got one peeking outside. We got about 26 Y'all laps to go, 25 laps to go in this one. Still there. You got room. You're clear. Clint Boyer right here in 11th. He's worked his way through the field, and he's had a couple of pit stops to help him but not much pit strategy to help him at this point he's got to do it the old-fashioned way and work your way through the field lap by lap car by car which I did Martinsville's a little hard no we're not we were maybe by a bumper maybe Ricky here in the top 10 the AI's drunk. Newman, sixth. AI's a little off with that. Hold that line, driver. Top three, use it if you need it. Car there on the inside. Yep, that happened again. We're just gonna continue to play bumper cars, okay. Be ready here. Got a car load now. 
Jimmy Johnson trapped a lap down. Bottom's clear. Three wide, you're in the middle. Come on, come on, come on. I need ten more bottle laps. Concentrate for me. I don't know if the tires are going to last for another 10. Ooh. That wasn't me, and you know what? I'm going to pit and get tired. Well, no. No pit. I need a good finish here. I need to go for it. Need to at this point. If I don't finish top 10, probably not making the playoffs. Are you ready now? Just stuff it in there. That'll get some spots right there. You got room. You're clear there. Clear high, clear high. Still there. Top three. You Joey and Denny it. going for the win in Martinsville. This seems very realistic, actually. Go. You got this. Still there. Top three, use it if you need it. Excuse me, Denny. I want to win. Clear high, clear high. Great job, driver. That's a fast lap right there. Yes, it was. White flag is in the air. Come on, come on. Go get oh. the flag. <laughs> All right, man, that's how we qualify for the playoffs. I don't know why I slowed down so much right there. I think it was because the car was getting loose. So we're in the playoffs. There you go. <laughs> that was a crazy race, I'll admit it. I don't know why I kept burning up the tires so much. I think it was because I just got too aggressive and didn't relax, didn't have the patience. But, ooh, two-wheeling it. But here we are, qualifying for Talladega, I believe, for the final four. We should have, anyway, right there with that one, I believe. So that should lock us in. Oh, that was a stressful last few laps, man. Danny was breathing down my neck. As my car is... I think I blew the engine. Yep, I, I blew it. With that, ourselves, Kyle Busch, advancing to the Final Four at Talladega, actually. Not Homestead, not Phoenix, but Talladega in this 10-race COVID season fantasy uh, in NASCAR Heat 4. Uh, Eric Jones, Denny Hamlin right now holding on to the final two spots, but only three markers back right there. Martin Shrix Jr., Newman, Blaney, and Busch, I think, are a little bit too far back. Maybe Newman's got a shot at this, but... Blaney's a full race back and so is Kurt with I believe one more race here before the cutoff so it's going to come down between uh, all those Gibbs teammates actually um, Jones, Hamlin Truex and Newman if he can squeak in there barely but I don't think so with one to go uh, I don't think he's got it in him but want to thank you so 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 much for watching this video go ahead give us a like to congratulate us on this crazy Martinsville race very physical. I'm going to do a lap counter. I'm going to see. I don't know if I'm going to do it by the time I post this, but I'm going to count every single vehicle that I pass. And if you want to, to double check my math, feel free. I went through the field at least half a dozen times, if not more. I want to know how many cars I passed at the end of this one. So for the NASCAR Heat for 10 race COVID season, I want to thank you so much for watching. I'm Alan Bailey. We'll see you at the track.